The Painting with Magic Show with Brandon Thomas is brought to you by BrandonThomasArtSupply.com, home of the Brandon Thomas product line, and by the Brandon Thomas Instructor Team. Go to BrandonThomasArt.com to find an instructor near you. It's me, it's me, it's Brian T here with the Payment Mag Show, and today we're going to get monkey faced on it, and we're going to do a nice little summer scene. I want to do something that's kind of cool but warm. Uh, today I want to do something that's very simple, so you guys that's beginners can do this, you can join in. Intermediate artists it's going to help you kind of fine tune some things and kind of get you playing around with some different colors that you might not use typically for a sky. So let's jump into this painting here today I have a uh, 16 by 20 uh, Frederick's canvas up here it's a red label canvas I get questions about that and what I have one is some of my amazing white medium and this is oil painting okay the white based medium I use is amazing white my signature medium uh, only for oil painting and we got oil paints here and those colors will go across the screen for you that I'll be using today so I'll tell you what score to the pound here and we get a two inch brush and we're gonna take some phthalo green just a little bit of yellow green. Now these colors are pretty strong. Look at those Grumbacher pre-tested colors. They're really strong stuff. All right, there we go. Just a little bit. And I keep the white paint on my brush when I use it, that way I can see what I'm loading. Okay. That way I know I got it just a little bit. I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna start right down here at the bottom, kind of where I want my horizon to be. There we go. And that amazing white hits it and works with it and. Move it around to you a little bit more. So I'm just gonna move it in here and grab a little bit real quick. There we go, monkey face. There we go. Now I want to leave a little gap in here. That way it has a little more atmosphere to it. Maybe just a wee bit more over here. Now this is phthalo green. Many of you probably use the phthalo blue. Okay, so now we'll take some of this Prussian blue, just a tiny bit of Prussian blue, with the same old dirty brush. All right, let's go up here. Now we'll go to the top and work it in. Not too much. Don't want too much. Not too much. We'll wear it over the X stroke. I'm just going to grab a little more. There we go. Now you could use phthalo blue on here, but I didn't want too powerful. I want it to be just a, a nice softness to it. There we go. I may pick up just a wee bit more blue. I'm running around. See, I mush it around like this on my palette the way I kind of spreads it out and it loads it up evenly without having to really beat the brush into it and just pop it around like this. Just kind of swoosh it around. And then a few little taps or two, but... But for the most part, you don't have to tap the brush that much. Then I was working into that phthalo green. Okay. Now we're going to have water in here. And to do the water, I'm going to take the phthalo, uh, Prussian blue and then I'm going to take the phthalo green together. Both of them. And you can make it more bluey or more to the green side, however which way you want it to go. Alright, you know me, I like green, so we'll probably knock it to the green side a little bit. Alright, and what we're going to do here is like a watercolor technique. They'll take the brush flat and we're going to run it across the canvas. And let it pick up all the little bumps. But the water's moving. Look at there. We have some green and blue streaks in there. I'm gonna go back this way a little bit. Just like that. There, pretty nice. And then I'm gonna wash that old brush out. Now I wash my brush in odorless mineral spirits that I get from the hardware store. 
just from just about 13 bucks a gallon very cheap stuff then I'm gonna shake it off now on the bottom of this bucket I have a little thinner screen then I'm gonna just beat the tar out of it right there there we go and then I'm gonna wipe it off on a paper towel there we go good and then I'm gonna go back over top of this and soften it down just a little bit I'm gonna beat out a little bit more and then soften it here again there and you see how this has an atmosphere boom good and you have water movement and all that good stuff you already need that easy tell you what let's take a number six fan brush and let's it's going to the palette now let's take a little titanium white and then blue and then some red and we'll mix them up real good I want some of that green too in there I'm going to test it see what I like about it a little bit too dark so I'll make it just a little bit lighter it's pretty good but I want to put the white cloud in there first. Normally I go with the white cloud first, but I got ahead of myself. So I'm going to take another old fan brush real quick. With some titanium white. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this red. A little too much, didn't I? I told you that stuff's some strong stuff. Got myself a little bit of trouble there, didn't I? Okay, I can use that for mixing. Alright, that's good. Now, I'm going to put my cloud in here. And I'm using little scrubbing motion. Like I'm using one edge of the brush. I'm pushing it in there. And I'm scrubbing it around. Now, I've got the other side. I push it in there and I scrub it around. Now, you don't leave the brush in there too long. If you leave it in there too long, you're going to get cotton balls. And we don't want to make an any more advertisement for the pharmacies than we than we want to so make them look like clouds not cotton balls all right so now i'll go back to this brush it has that little shadow color in it i'm gonna come here i'm just gonna look inside my cloud and see where could a little shadow be and these are very soft shadow clouds nice and soft they're not too too strong Back to that little two inch brush. I'm using one corner of the brush and I'm just going to soften the base. Alright, that's easy. I'm going to fluff it up a little bit. Okay. Then the next thing I'll do. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna wash my fan brush. Had all that pink in it. Then yeah, I'll take some more white. I'm just gonna kinda kiss it on here in some spots. And I want just a little sunshine to be. See that? Where it's a little more sun I kind of hit. Just a few areas. See those? It's good. I'm just going to just kind of tap it a little bit. I want to keep some of those textures in there. Those little textures really help your, your clouds look like they're rolling a little bit. Alright. Let's put another little cloud in there. And then... We'll be good to go. Another one right there. Kind of layer them a little bit. I really pop in you some realistic stuff. Zoom. There. Then back to a little bit of a shadow color. Right there. See? 
Good. Rolling clouds. I really love painting these type of clouds. They're really fun to do. And we just soften with the old two inch brush. Now, if your brushes are, are scratching your canvas, you got the wrong kind of brush. Uh, all these brushes you'll get from a hardware store or even other companies that are selling them are made for painting houses and stuff. And, and they're not going to give you the, the effects that you need for painting paintings. There. One more. Like I said, I want these to be nice and soft and just enough to kind of put something in the sky. Yeah, those are good. I hope those helped you out how to paint these little shadow clouds. Don't take much to have an extra little something in your painting. And boom. I just kind of knock a few of these out into the atmosphere. I tell you what, if you ain't subscribed to the channel, subscribe right now. Subscribe to it. We're doing videos all the time now. We're doing videos, trying to do videos constantly. And make sure you give us a thumbs up on this. I need to know if you like these videos. So thumbs up, comment, share them with all your friends so they can get monkey faced on it too, guys. Boom, there we go. Alrighty. Now let's get into some business down here. Let's, let's get some stuff going. I'm going to take my palette knife. And I'm going to take blue. I'm going to take a little green, some that red, and some brown. All together there. Okay. And some that white. In there. And I think, I think it's kind of good color. Might be too strong. I want more green. You can use the phthalo green for so much. You don't have to have sap green if you don't want sap green. And I'm going to make it just a little bit lighter down here. That's ah, better. And I have two tones here now. See that? Don't destroy all your nice and dark because you can use that for something else. Make you know, a little layer there of, of lighter color. Alright. No, 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 no. Let's see here. I'll take the little fan brush I was using for the clouds. And I'll just kind of tap it into some of this lighter color. And then I'm going to decide where my island comes in at. That. There, there's some stuff going on. I'm kind of lift up a little bit. Far away stuff. Then, then, then. Just take it, kind of pour it in. Not enough paint. So I'll just take this brush that has the darks on it. And run it into the water. There we go. Then I'm just pulling it down. If you got a ton of paint on here, you may want to wipe off every time you pull down. I don't have much paint up here. I'm gonna take some of this darker color and I'm gonna kind of work it into that lighter color just so I have a little more of a, a middle tone in between those two with a filbert brush. I'm gonna crunch the brush in there. Just tap it in there. I'm gonna kind of play around back here in the background just to kind of add in some texture and some things like that back here. Okay. 
Okay. And then I'll take this big old brush and kind of tap around on it. And it'll kind of soften it in there. And you got some texture going on back here. And you could develop uh, an island however you want to develop it. I just kind of want something in the background that'll kind of change up a little bit. Okay, now. Now I'm going to take my fan brush. And I'm going to take amazing white and some titanium white. Now this is some old titanium white I have laying around from leftover painting. All right. So I got about 50% amazing white and 50% titanium white in this. I'm going back and forth. Number six fan brush. All righty. Now let's go back up here. We're going back up to the island down here at the base of it. And we're going to use a stroke like this, but it's going to be very small, subtle strokes. Almost like you got something wrong with you, like you drunk a, too much coffee. You know, or, and back and forth with it. Back and forth. Nice and soft. Make sure little movements. If the paint's not sticking on here, just add a little touch more of amazing white to it, okay? Just a little bit more man's wet. This is almost like, I don't know, maybe the morning, it's like a morning scene without the, uh, after the morning, after the sun comes up and the sky opens up, yeah, evening too, maybe around 12 or so, 11 or so o'clock, there we go. Okay. And now we're going to add just a little texture, a little rough it up a little bit. Not, but it's taking this uh, knife and it's grabbing a little bit of that paint. Okay. Just a little roll of that. And I just want to kind of put a little bead every so other place. See there? Just kind of a little bit here. Then I'm just going to soften them down a little bit. Let's knock off that edge. I'm not pressing a lot on it. Many people say, yeah, it's not like you're really digging in there, but I'm not, not too much pressure. Just a little bit. Okay. Now, now, now. Now, let's see. Now, let's see. What else could we do? I'll tell you what I see in my head. Let's take this darker color we got. I'm going to add a little bit blue to that. Right here, a few little goes all the way over there. It was right there. Then the liner brush open up. Then we'll thin down some of this color. Now, a big tip about thinning down your paint. Start on the edge of the paint with a little of that paint thinner or a little of that classic clear medium. Any of those two will do it. And then back here, I'm going to throw in a few little palm trees. Little clumps of them. Maybe a little few little clumps here. And maybe a few here. See those? And then it ain't going to take much to just... Knock in a few little trees. Here little palm trees. And basically I'm kind of doing like a star on top of a stick. 
but I'm pointing down two little upset V shapes. And they're kind of just pulling out and the top, touching the tops. Just dabbing it. Get some atmosphere back there too, so. A few little palm trees. And then when I get to the big palm tree, you'll see <clears throat> more of the stroke and technique on it to work with these little small ones. Hope you can see that. I hope my head ain't in the way on those. Okay. And then we can kind of just knock them in the water a little bit. Da, da. Okay. And then back with that knife with a little of that white paint. Okay. And I think I have a fan brush kind of run it back there. So I don't want them too strong. Kind of seen it from way, way, way far away. Alright. Yeah, well, we need to get a little more stronger paint. That means, <clears throat> move that thinner stuff out of the way. <clears throat> I'm going to take Prussian blue, some more phthalo green, some more burnt umber, and then some of this Grumbacher red. And mix that into that color. Okay. There we go, that's good. But I want darker. It'll be darker. You may be saying, you ain't got black on your palette today. It's probably one of my first paintings on the show that I've not put black on the palette. But you don't have to have black on the palette. It's just a convenient paint to have. Okay? It's just convenience. When you have it on there. I'm going to grab a big old brush. Now we'll grab the big brush. Yeah. When you get that big old brush and work for us. Alrighty. So now I want some land right there. And punch it in. Get in there and get monkey faced on it. Too many times people want to fiddle around on it. Just get in there and get at it, guys. It's just a piece of cloth. Don't be scared of it. If you get scared of it, just beat it up a little bit. Show it who's the boss. There. See? I can't hurt you none. I don't know. I might. Okay. Now let's get another fan brush here. And I'll take that dark color again. I'll take more blue. I'll take more green, brown, a little red. Mix it in there. Okay. And then you gotta decide where you want this big old palm tree to be. Right there. There, see? basic shape in and boom the palm tree now let's see here more paint and here's another palm tree right there you can do two you can do whatever Could even do a do something that looks like that there, yeah. That's good stuff. Oh yeah, that's nice. Alrighty. Now we got to do the palms. And I'm using a number three fan brush now. Back to that same old dark color. And then I'm just gonna design out the shapes of how I want it go. Use that old fan brush. It'll give you the shapes you need. 
see. Upon. You're pretty much done with that palm tree. Just about done with it. A big old palm there, I'll tell you what. I'll give you some shade. See? Now, I'm not thinning down this paint. This paint's still thick. I'm just laying out my design on my palm tree now. Okay. Then just take the paint. Now it's not thin, it's still thick. A lot of people make the mistake of thinning it down. And when you thin it down, you get yourself in trouble. Can't make a decision from a dare no. See, there's a palm tree. There. Easy palm tree to make. Just follow the shape with your fan brush and give it a little pull. A little stamping on top. You can even put a little fuzzy right here. Put a little fuzzy right there. And they got a little fuzzy there. Okay. Now I'll take white, a little touch of yellow, some brown. Kind of going to color like that. Then I'm just going to touch the edge of this. Can't really see it that good. I'm going to take some more white. I'm going to take some amazing white now. And I'm going to tap the brush into that paint like that. Kind of see where the light's kind of hitting on it a little bit. Okay. Tap and kind of cover them trees up a little bit. Now, let's see. Okay, clean that corner up on it a little bit. Okay, so let's put some grass at the base. I'm going to take a little amazing white, my two inch brush. And I'm going to take some of this yellow. That's Hansi yellow. And I'm gonna tap it right in there. Maybe a little phthalo green with that. Just so it kind of harmonizes with everything. Okay. And then I'm gonna kind of throw myself a little bit of a shadow in between those. I'm gonna go up on a heel a little bit. You can even take a little white and kind of sprinkle some like flowers. Kind of grows in there. Okay. Then. I'll well, then down some of this color here and just kind of flake ourselves in a few little grasses. 
Mix some of that lock color we use for the grass and kind of spin some of that in there. Okay. And then I'm going to do a little bird. Two little birds with a color like this. It's a grayish color. Now I just want to throw them in between these palm trees. Think of a wide V shape. Put a few over here. Okay, this is my signature script liner in case we get a few questions. We can always throw a little few right in here. Just a few. Okay. So I think those look pretty nice. Might even just dock in one there. Or, you know, you go to the beach, you always see a bunch of birds. Kind of flying out that way. Okay. Okay. And that's my picture. So I'll sign this little painting. I'll use some phthalo green. There we go. And we'll maybe touch a blue with that too. But I really hope you enjoyed painting today. Hope you learned some things from this one. This one's just a great one for anybody to to paint with. It's not an extremely hard painting, but if you're a beginner, it's going to be a little challenging. And if you're intermediate, it should give you a a painting that will test you a little bit. So, it's a good little picture. You can do so much more with it. I'm trying to keep these videos as short as possible. I'm thinking about doing a a seascape techniques video. If you want to see that, make sure you thumbs it up. The more thumbs up we see, the more I know you might want to see something like that. And we can get you to see these videos being shared. Share these videos. And we know you want them. You want to see something that's a little long. It'll be like an hour or so long, maybe on Seascapes and stuff. So this was pretty awesome. You got a nice little blue scene in the background. Nice little foreground here. Just a nice little paint. Something that you want to relax with. Maybe get some ice tea and you sit down there and watch the water go around. So, hope you enjoyed this little video. This one's ready for Art Gallery. And so is yours. Make sure you subscribe and like and share. And I'll see you real soon. The Painting with Magic Show with Brandon Thomas is brought to you by BrandonThomasArtSupply.com Home of the Brandon Thomas product line and by the Brandon Thomas Instructor Team. Go to BrandonThomasArt.com to find an instructor near you.